So I'm going to show you how you can use this pin is pressed block here. It has a drop down which lets you select the pin which you want to test. In this case I'm going to leave it on pin 0. And what this command does is it returns a value of yes or no if that pin has been pressed. We can then use that to determine if something happens. So I'm going to just get a forever loop and then within that I'm going to use a logic command if then else. I'm going to link this pin is pressed block to this. So what now will happen is if pin 0 is pressed then we will execute the commands we place here else we will do something different. So let's use that along with some show LED blocks and what we will do is we will get one LED arrangement to display when pin 0 is pressed. Let's put a cross in and what we'll do is something totally different if it isn't pressed. So you can see that now. Now on the simulator what you would do is you click on the pin to make it think it's been pressed. So at the moment it doesn't think it's being pressed so it's executing the command the show LED block here in the else. If I now click pin 0, it executes the command that sits in the then section. If I let go, it goes back to what's in the else. So what we're doing here is we're using this command or this block here to see what's happening on a pin and then we'll do something depending upon if it has been pressed or it hasn't.